Hi everybody, this is Audra at Rankin Dragon Channel and I just wanted to show everybody how to make an aeroponic or deep water culture um, to grow plants and I've been kind of throwing this out there for the past uh, several videos that I was working on this and I don't know why it took me so long but I just wanted to do it very very basic I mean completely basic so that kids adults anybody who knows nothing about how to put this together would be able to do it so here it is and this is what I did I took a coffee creamer container you can take anything plastic you could probably even use anything glass with a lid as long as if it is a clear container which this one was not this one was tan but we went ahead and spray painted it um, just to jazz it up a little and if you do have a clear container you do want to go ahead and put some paint on there because you want to make that as light um, tight as possible you do not want light getting to your roots because it could cause algae to grow on the roots of your plants or in your water and that wouldn't be a good thing so what I did on this I've used these for a lot of things this is actually I took a lid of another one that I'm actually using just as a little compost jar this one here like I said I went ahead and did jazz it up a little bit we had to make it purple because my daughter loves purple and we had leftover purple paint from Christmas because my daughter likes, um, like I said, she loves purple, and the C7 lights outside at Christmas time never come in purple. So her daddy took some clear lights and purple spray paint, spray painted some of them purple, and stuck those in on the light strand just for her. So that's what we did. I had the leftover purple paint. I took a $1 a uh, postcard, antique postcard from an antique store and some flowers that I had cut out of a magazine and I decoupaged a cute little retro design on the front just because it's going to be sitting in my bedroom and I wanted something other than just the coffee logo on the front <laughs> so that's what it became and it turned out really really cute so you got this for your base and then what you do for your lid which is uh, was a difficult part for me but it shouldn't have been as difficult as it was I took the lid and I had a little found a yogurt container you can find um, cream cheese containers anything you can use just something that would fit down inside your lid where you have a little bit of a lip around the edge so that you can sit that in there what I did was I took this and I traced around the edge in the middle and traced around it so I could find what where it sat Oops. and not just trace around there and so you can find where it sat and what I did was I measured the inside of this little lip like how far in that would be so that that would sit once I cut a hole in my lid and I measured in in that measurement and made a dot how far in I had to go and then since I wanted to use this with as less power tools as possible I drilled took a big drill bit drilled a big hole right here another big hole right beside it so that I could get my scissors in there and get them started once I got it started I was able to take put my scissors inside that hole and just trim all the way around in my lid actually I think I went from the top so I, once I had my hole cut out for my lid then I took my yogurt container and if you're handy with the drill please use a drill it's so much simpler than what I did what I did was took some sharp scissors stuck them inside there and then kind of turned the scissors around and made my holes a little bit bigger and I did get some massive holes that way they're not <laughs> equal in any means and so it is kind of like a kid did it and yes you know how I am so <laughs> that's what happens when you don't use a drill you can most definitely use a drill but like I'm saying kids can do this if you do use sharp, sharp scissors though kids please have your parents help you with this because this was difficult for even me using just the scissors 
So after that part, it fits into the top. This is going to be your basket, and this is going to hold your seedling. So what we did next was I took and drilled, let me set this off for a minute, I took and I drilled a hole in the back. And I want to show you why. Because I took a big drill bit up as far as the top as I could kind of get it, and I drilled in the back. And you just want to, whenever you, um, I, we're going to add a pump to this. This is an old aquarium pump that I had laying around left over from one of my other fish tanks. And you want to drill a big enough hole in it that your tubing can go inside. So I just made sure my drill bit was big enough for the tubing to go inside. Then once you get that inside, then you need to buy or if you have one laying around, you need a air stone. And you just place it inside your air tube. You want to stick that down inside the bottom, pretty far down in the middle. And that's going to aerate your water so it doesn't go stagnant and you can grow your plant. At this point, I'm going to fill it up with water. I'm going to pour some water up to the very top hole that I made there. And actually, you can fill it up a little bit more than what I've got there, but you want to fill it right up to here, to the bottom of where your air tube comes in, and you don't want it to be above that, or it'll come drip out this, the hole that you made. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up just a little bit more water up to my hole there that I said. At this point, you can go ahead and... Um, add your hydroponic nutrients. You can put it, do an internet search and put some new hydroponic nutrients and you can see what you can find out there. This is some that I happen to have on hand because I already had another type of hydroponic unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there at this time. Once you've gone ahead and added your nutrients, and it's a possibility that you could maybe in the future we can try just growing some regular um, uh, water with regular fertilizer in it and see how that goes in the future. But once you've added those nutrients, you can go ahead and do the next step. Once you get it filled up, put your top onto your container. Okay, so that's what we've done. We've put that onto our container. Then you want to get what's called a cellulose sponge, this big green monster here. You want to take a cellulose sponge. As long as it says cellulose sponge, it should work. Something that's really porous and has the big, big air bubbles in it, that'll be perfect. So you take a square off the corner. I cut the corner, and then I took my scissors, and I cut in about halfway through. So I have this nice little, looks like something that could eat somebody here, this little sponge that has a little mouth. So what you do is you take your, we'll take and we'll put our seeds in here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put the seeds that I thought would look perfect in our little purple container was coleus. I thought coleus would be adorable in this because it had the purple of the, um, the jar that I had used with the purple color. And I, the coleus that I have is not... Um, the pink kind. I wish it were all the pink because I think that would be fabulous. It's a mixed color, but we're going to go ahead and use that and see how that goes. So when you take your seed, you only need very little. And these seeds are so very tiny you can hardly even see them. But I'm going to just place them. I don't know if you can see that in there. Okay, I have placed the seeds inside my sponge and see the little black dots and I'm going to place my sponge down into the yogurt cup. What I have to go around here is just some old aquarium rocks that I had on hand from whenever I broke down one of my big aquariums. I had it just sitting outside in a bucket um, it's just left over. I didn't want to throw it out because you can use it in the bottom of terrariums and for things like this. It's great. So I rinsed all that off and cleaned that really good, sterilized that. And then I'm going to pour that in here where my seeds are.
and I'm just going to try to leave that open where the um, seedling can grow up through that hole and then that works perfect. The thing is I, you can use the um, clay pellets that they use for hydroponics. You can also use any type of um, aquarium rock, which we're making this very, very basic. So I really want to see if this can grow in just a plain aquarium gravel. Um, I like the bigger size so that the water can kind of flow around it instead of the tiny, tiny rocks. But I want to make sure that this will go just like it is and make it be as easy as possible. I've even heard that you can use uh, like the decorative marbles. That would be something you could put in here as well. So we've got our coleus seeds. Everything is ready pretty much. Um, we've got our water. We've got our pump. Our air stone is ready to go. And all we need to do now is just find us a sunny window to place it in. Find us a sunny window to place it in. Plug it in and see how that goes. Okay guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I hope this tutorial was simple enough for you. If you have any questions, please comment or send me um, a personal message and I'll be glad to help you through it. Uh, it was easy enough for me, I'm sure it'll be easy enough for you and if you want, we'll check back here in about 15 days and we'll see if our coleus has germinated and I hope it all works for you and thanks so much for tuning in. It's a joy to talk to everybody and I hope I can teach you something I'm not the world's greatest teacher, but we all learn together. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Bye, guys, and have a great day.